Hello, it's a pleasure to participate in the high-level meeting on middle-income countries. There's hardly uh, a much more challenging issue than how the post-COVID economy will look like in the mix. Uh, uh, all countries were affected differently by COVID-19, but the uh, lessons that were first drawn were skewed towards advanced economies, and this is not a surprise. Uh, in the week of January 23rd to 28th uh, of last year, all of the most advanced economies were hit by the first cases. That goes from Canada, US, to Germany, Italy, Spain, etc. So it's not surprising that the first lessons that were drawn from that were lessons that, that were used by the advanced economies. But advanced economies had a different kind of situation. In all the advanced economies, the interest rates were really low, and, now, and, and then by April of last year, were close to zero. They have a uh, capacity uh, to uh, collect taxes, which is more higher than developing uh, countries. And they were able to, uh, to have fiscal stimulus and fiscal support to the economy of, around, of, 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 range, of, of amounts that range between 20 to 30 percent of GDP. At the same time, time it was recognized that the, the, that the very poor countries in the world would not be able to go through the health and the economic crisis by themselves. And as such, the international community uh, uh, prompt, moved promptly to support them. Uh, one, one of these uh, strategies, the DSSI strategy that, that was designed to give them uh, uh, space, uh, it was extremely important. But be between these, the advanced economies and the really poor economies are the middle, and co uh, the middle uh, income countries that were forgotten. But these countries represent 75% of the whole world population and close to 35% of all uh, uh, of, of, the, of the world GDP. Moreover, as being more fragile countries, it's expected that 80% of the new extreme poor are going to come from the middle income countries. It is in that sense that it's extremely important in order to have an, uh, 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 a fairer uh, growth to support especially middle income countries in the, in the recovery. Not all middle income countries have access to market capitals. Mexico has it, but we understand that not all of them have it. In this sense, it's, it's extremely important the role that could be expected to, to play by the international financial institutions. It's urgently to design uh, a response soon and to be ready uh, because in the next few months we will be moving to a new stage. Thank you.